Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, welcome to part 2 of this tutorial on XML driven, uh, driven image gallery that uses uh, thumbnails as well. Cool. Okay. Um, people had promised you that in part number 2 I'll be actually explaining the action script to you. Alright. Fair enough. Okay. Before I do that, let me uh, quickly take you through the, uh, the layout, the stage that is. So let me close the actions panel briefly. Okay. <coughs> so people, if you remember, we had, uh, you know, we had a stage full of five UI loader components. This was the main uh, UI loader. Uh, that was for uh, the main image. Okay. And then we had uh, four smaller UI loaders. Uh, these are to load the thumbs, right? And uh, let's have a look at the timeline as well. Okay, give me a minute. Reset essentials. Okay, there you go. So we have three layers out here. Uh, the topmost layer is uh, the S3 layer for holding the action script. This is the main loader where the main picture loads, and these are the four. These are four UI loaders here at the bottom are for loading the thumbs. Okay, right, and. Uh, let me uh, tell you their instance names uh, respectively. The, the main loader has been called the, the main uh, loader, right? Uh, from left to the right, these four UI loaders for the thumbs have been named thumb 0, thumb 1, thumb 2, and thumb 3, right? And uh, where do you actually get the UI loaders from? All you need to do is either you can go out here, okay, go inside components, and under the components, you can pull up uh, the UI loader from here. Uh, let me show it to you. <coughs> right there it is so I pulled up the UI loader component from here and then I resized it uh, depending on whether I was using it for uh, the thumbs or whether I was using it for the uh, main picture and I could just adjust the width and the height by default it's always 100 by 100 the width and the height uh, but I adjusted it accordingly to match the size of the main picture and the four thumbs cool right so all that is left for me to explain is the action script let me open up the actions panel for you let me expand it right <coughs> cool uh, we have around 30 lines of action script let me go through it uh, quickly okay now these are six import directives the top five will go get auto imported or auto generated while you're actually writing the code but the fifth one is a must that you must write manually cool uh, in line number eight people what I've done is I've actually declared a variable <coughs> food XML and uh, I've data typed it to XML but I've not given it any value, which I'll be doing so later. In line number nine, what I've done is I've declared yet another variable, XML loader. The data type is a URL loader and I made it equal to a new URL loader. Now the URL loader class is used to pull up uh, external documents like uh, uh, an XML file, right? And then what I've done is I've added an event listener to the XML loader, the variable that I created in line number nine, okay? Um, <coughs> the event is a complete event and once the loading is complete uh, I want a function called XML loaded to fire so in line number 11 I have written uh, that XML loader should be loaded with a new URL request class which is fetching the XML file which I've named named food XML which is lying in an external assets folder let me show it to you right so you see this is the flaw file and in reference to this the XML file is lying inside the assets folder and there it is food is the name so food uh, is the name of the XML file cool <coughs> food.xml right so using the URL request class I'm loading it inside the URL loader XML loader a bigger part right and once the loading is complete this function should be executed XML loaded and let's check this function out XML loaded right so inside the function 
have uh, made food XML which are declared here in line number 8 equal to new XML in brackets XML loader dot data so the data which is lying inside the XML loader people this is the XML loader variable okay so whatever data is there inside it uh, should be forced into this uh, variable food XML if I trace uh, food XML I'll be actually I'll actually be seeing the uh, XML file well, let me show it to you if I hit control enter right so not only does the gallery show up okay you'll also be uh, seeing in the output panel uh, the XML file that's because we, we are tracing it all right so if you trace food XML you'll be able to see the XML file cool um, <coughs> let's see in line number 17 uh, we have declared yet another variable thumb loader I'm data typing it to a UI loader and I'm not giving it a value yet then in line number 18 guys I'm running a loop a for loop and this is the syntax to do that I'm saying uh, for variable I data typing it to a uint a positive integer that is equal to zero as long as i is less than food xml dot image dot length um, now food xml is, is the variable that is containing the xml file dot image dot length means uh, how many instances of the image tags are there inside the xml file uh, we know it is four right so as long as uh, it is less than four that is that is what it means using the length property and uh, then I'm incrementing I by one so for people who actually know how to use the for loop this shouldn't come as a surprise right so it's, it's, it's very common to uh, you know use the uh, the for loop in this syntax <coughs> right so uh, let's see what is exactly there inside the for loop this variable that I created earlier in line number 17 thumb loader I'm making it equal to uh, get child by name thumb i now thumb i will be thumb 0 thumb 1 thumb 2 thumb 3 so if you remember people the thumbs uh, you see these instances of the UI loader have been given an instance name of thumb 0 thumb 1 thumb 2 and thumb 3 respectively so <coughs> right so out here I'm using the get child by name method and I'm referencing thumb 0 thumb, thumb 1 thumb 2 thumb 3 respectively using the for loop so I, I'm saying get child by name thumb 0 and then data typing it to UI loader and I'm saving it inside uh, the thumb loader so sometimes the thumb loader is actually thumb 1 sometimes it's thumb two sometimes it's thumb zero sometimes it's thumb three <coughs> right so depending on what the value of i is i is the iterator which goes on increasing uh, the thumb loader will acquire a value of thumb zero thumb one thumb two or thumb three okay then uh, what i'm doing is i'm loading inside the thumb loader now thumb loader is a variable using the load method i'm requesting for uh, using the new you see the new URL request class the URL request class I'm requesting for this is the path assets then thumbs and then uh, food XML dot image at the rate file <laughs> I know it's a little confusing uh, basically I would want a specific URL to be loaded inside the thumb loader variable and that URL is equal to you first go inside the assets folder then you dig inside the thumbs folder okay and then let me show it to you and then so so you see this is the assets folder and then you go inside the, the thumbs folder okay and then uh, we are calling first the food1.jpg then food2.jpg <coughs> the foo3.jpg and foo4.jpg and how am i calling it i'm calling it through uh, action script in this manner 
food XML, if you remember, is the XML file. This is the image tag. Let me open up the uh, XML file. Right. So inside uh, the XML file, we have four image tags. So I am referencing the image tag and then the file attribute, which is uh, sometimes food1, food2, food3, or food4 JPG. You see <coughs> food XML dot image. So it's, it's the path. Food XML is holding the XML file. Then the image tag. Okay. I is uh, 0, 1, 2, or 3. Okay. So at node 0, at node 1, or at index 0, at index 1, um, I want the file to be pulled up. Now, <coughs> the file attribute is nothing but food 1, food 2, food 3, or food 4. So depending on which node, you know, which, which is then decided by this uh, iterator i. So in other words, I'm actually loading inside the thumb loader either food1.jpg food2.jpg, food3.jpg or yeah that's it food uh, you know thumb 0, thumb 1, thumb 2 or thumb th th rather food1, uh, food2, food3 or food4.jpg files and we are loading it inside the thumb loader. I'm also making sure that the thumb loader uh, so thumb loader's button mode property should be turned on or should be set to true so that when you hover over the uh, you know the thumbs uh, you should be able to see the mouse uh, you know you should be able to see the finger so you should know that it's clickable <coughs> right right um, also I'm adding uh, add event listener uh, to the thumb loader of the type click and I would want a function called thumb click to be run okay but remember people the thumb loader is sometimes <coughs> you see um, is sometimes um, thumb one, uh, thumb zero, thumb one, thumb two, or thumb three. So basically, I'm setting the button mode properties of all, uh, all of them, to true. Okay. I'm also making sure that if somebody clicks on the thumb loader, a function called thumb click should be executed. Let's understand the function thumb clicked. Okay. So I'm declaring a variable uh, thumb name data typing it to string and I'm making it equal to event dot current target dot name so the event is a click event the current target is actually <coughs> um, thumb zero you know current target dot name is either thumb zero thumb one thumb two or thumb three right and then I'm, I'm declaring yet another variable thumb index but this time the data type is a positive integer uint and I'm making it equal to uh, thumb name, which is, as I said, thumb zero, thumb one, thumb two, or thumb three, dot substring method, um, and then five. Basically, I would want just that one single uh, substring, which is at, in you know, the fifth position. So thumb zero, zero is at the fifth position. Thumb one, one is at the fifth position. Thumb two, two is at the fifth position. So basically, all that I'm interested in is, is that number, zero, one, two, three etc right uh, this number will be very useful to us let's see how uh, yet another variable third variable in succession called full path the data type this time is a string and I'm making it equal to um, assets forward slash images plus food XML which is nothing but the XML file actually dot image image is the you know these the image tags are there inside the XML file and then the thumb index which will either be 0 1 2 or 3 and then the file attribute so in other words what I'm doing is I'm actually fetching food 1 dot jpg food 2 dot jpg food 3 dot jpg food 4 dot jpg but from the images folder this time yep so I'm actually pulling this or this or this or this depending on which uh, thumb was clicked okay and that depends uh, you know so so as you see this thumb index came in very handy right and then what I'm doing is I'm loading inside the main loader now main loader is this 
this is the main loader people this bigger uh, UI loader is the main loader now this main loader will load either food1.jpg food2.jpg food3.jpg or food4.jpg and how is that decided that's decided uh, by uh, the full path and full path is nothing but it makes you dig inside the assets folder then makes you dig inside the images folder and then through this formula which is a little uh, complex I would agree um, food XML the XML file actually is you know the variable holding the XML file dot the image node then the thumb index uh, 0 1 2 or 3 and uh, the, the file attribute now this file attribute gives you uh, food 1 food 2 food 3 or uh, food 4 uh, jpg all right and once the image completely loads inside the main loader i'm running uh, i'm using the tween class people i'm declaring a variable my tween data typing into tween and i'm making it equal to a new, new tween where i'm actually making sure that the alpha property of the main loader uh, which does not use any ease at all goes up from a 30 percent to a hundred percent over 18 frames which is as good as saying three uh three fourths of a second all right so you see the fade in effect over uh, three fourths of a second that's it so people um this xml uh, photo gallery is a fade in gallery as well and it's picking up the th thumbnails as well as the main pictures from external folders or assets so i hope you like this tutorial and i hope to see you uh, coming in for more you have a good day, people. Bye-bye. Peace.